Okay, hi guys, uh, my name is Chris. I work for a company called AMU. AMU stands for Avoid Mass Extinctions Engine. Uh, we do this by giving access to the data behind climate change so people can actually act upon it. And uh, I'll give you an idea of why we actually have this. So, what you're seeing here is a graph showing you uh, basically what, what's kind of reported on, uh, on climate change and what actually kind of informed, informed opinion thinks is actually really happening. We're trying to get people to act upon this because really we should have more people on the right hand side here than, than the left here. So um, where did we actually start? We started by uh, doing um, personal footprint SIP. So we, we basically worked, uh, we initially started with the, with the UK government and uh, getting lots and lots of people's footprints and uh, helping people to kind of understand and do some benchmarking and things like that. Uh, we then actually found that this actually, we need kind of more of a scale to actually avoid any kind of global catastrophe. So we started looking at large companies because they have a scale that people don't have. So Walmart is like the sixth largest export customer of China. So that's the kind of scale that we're kind of we're looking at here. The problem is, well, people tend not to trust companies. You kind of think that well, they're kind of undying, unkillable, remorseless sociopaths like you see here. I don't actually think that's a particularly useful way of thinking of it. And I actually find, um, I, I find, I've got a different comparison actually. I think of them more along the lines of um, top secret World War II or weaponized pigeons. That's what I find more useful. Um, if you watch QI, you might be aware of um, this project in, in, in 1942. It was called um, Project Pigeon. And uh, it was basically a way to use pigeons as a guidance, guidance system for, for missiles. Uh, they would actually, um, well you can read this. <laughs> and as you can see, you can see the pigeons at the top here. Now you put, you put three pigeons in there, so together they actually guide the missile. They focus on their immediate target, pecking away for their immediate targets all the time and hurtle towards the building. These, um, they didn't really kind of have too many second flights, these pigeons. And um, as you can see, we've got a kind of recurring theme here. So we've got folks on immediate targets with um, hurtling towards oblivion. It's kind of a bit like the current economic situation that we have, right? So this is kind of, well, depressing and not particularly encouraging and uh, terrifying. So um, I read this really interesting piece uh, on, the, on the interwebs, and uh, there was this phrase, hug the monster. So I kind of found it quite, I we, we, well, think we found it quite inspiring. The idea that, well, there's this awful situation, so let's try and, I don't know, that's yourself off and see how you can actually attack this. So hence, uh, we actually took all the, all, the, all the data we do have and we're trying to weaponize it is the best way of, of talking about it. We're combining it with financial data so that you can actually do some really interesting stuff with this. And uh, the end result is, well, one of these, a public environmental footprint for every company on the planet. That's what we're aiming for. Uh, we've got a number of quants, a number of scientists trying to work this stuff out because once you have this, you can do some really kind of cool and clever things with this. Uh, and also you learn some interesting things about it. So the first thing, um, if you know if you know a company's emissions, if you if you know a company's emissions, you know how much they're spending on energy. If you know how much they're spending on energy, you have a, you've, well you've got an idea to like say you've got some kind of useful insight that people will actually pay for because well energy isn't really free. The other thing that's interesting about this is that well you can kind of ca count carbon like cash as it flows from company to company, and that itself is quite interesting as well. There's a kind of network effect there. And uh, we found someone who actually was interested in both of these two things. And uh, it, they turned out to be, well, the UK government. Uh, they were working with them at the moment to help understand both of these two things because they have a vested interest in, A, reducing their emissions because, well, they legally have to. They are, we are the only government in, in the world with legally binding targets to actually reduce our emissions. So we're looking at um, cuts of 60% by 2025, uh, 80% by 2030, so, you know, meaningful things, and these are legal, they have to actually come for these, so they've got to work out, how, how on earth do we do this? The thing that's interesting is that, well, the government is kind of a big spender right now, like half the economy is spending going through a single entity. Now, that's a pretty good lever, right? So if you can, if you can, if you can create something to change there, then you've actually got some scale, like the Walmart scale, just slightly less evil, right? So, uh, <laughs> the other thing that's interesting about the government is that they actually, they don't own that many power stations, so they have to actually reduce their emissions in other ways. So it's, for them, it's their supply chain. It's through that network diagram we saw before, right? So they, 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 they become greener by choosing greener suppliers themselves or, or getting the suppliers to choose their right suppliers. And that's kind of what we're doing at the moment. We're working with the government and uh, they're really, really excited about what we're doing. And they're actually embedding it into their processes. So we've actually got this sense to 
basically tweak where we're pecking, so we're actually are avoiding catastrophe, some, catastrophe somewhere. We're kind of aiming for this like pigeon here instead, so rather than going into oblivion, we're kind of going free or avoiding some kind of catastrophe. That's kind of us. Um, I just quite like this, this image, pigeonsincombat.com. Who knew? Okay, that's me. Thanks, guys. <laughs>